on the 90.
has got all the hooks on. So, um, yeah. this shift cast is very key. Got a little bank out here. This pipe's still going out. As the water draws out, I'm able to walk down here. Pass out behind it. It's a nice little channel, a little trough. Got some uh, pitch loops in behind me on the outer bar and now on the inside bar. They're just mooching up and down. See if we can uh, pick up a nice fish. man just fishing this nice little channel at the front here a solid fish on the 90 -hoo -hoo. remember to always look down to your fish -hoo -hoo -hoo. Fish. Another nice fish, Devo. Couple of baits down there and just see what happens, and then we're gonna move on. 
come down the beach, stick to the plan, a couple of k's, stop off when we see something to uh, fish on again and um, have another blast. Just running the um, usual dropper rig. Got a five ounce there, breakaway, on being on the west coast, of course. Got a lot of current. And um, I'm actually running two hooks on my dropper, little bead, and some bonito. Using bonito this time. Quite like using that, um, just little small chunks, just enough to um, get the hooks buried in there. Got a barb either side. So um, we'll put that out, see if we can get another fish. Love this stuff, eh? The 90 mile. Casting out on the west coast, heaps of current, pull of the rod, the current, and all sorts of things. You just feel this little tap tap and get all excited. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, your rod buckles over, and away you go. So, yeah, we'll get another bait out. Hooked up, and behind that little. And that little bank there. Nice little trough. I'm hooked up. <laughs> Don't want to pull too hard, that tide's getting pulled out again. Might be a big trevally, be a nice snapper, even a um, kahawai. There's the thing up here, on the 90. Be um, nice big trevally, they get some nice big ones up here. Steve is hoping for a uh, carboy. I've got a feeling it might even be a snapper. Just using that wave, bringing them in. What do you know? It's a snapper. Walk down to your fish. <laughs> nice little snappy. <laughs> How's that, guys? Nice little snapper. Just in behind the brake. Head to the bin. Hooked up again! It's like a nice snapper, guys. We've got a line. Oh, Steve-o, Steve-o! Too loose, brother, too loose! Steve-o just got hammered. It is a uh, drag set too loose. Oh, this is a nice snapper, guys. Got that feeling. It's the one. Did take a bit of line before. It's a 90. Big 90 snapper, guys. Yeah. <laughs>
done a bit of a shift found a little bank here we can actually get out to the tide's coming in how's that guys look at that it's a stonker of a fish Is it my 2090? Is it my 20 pounder 90? Maybe not 20, but a stonk or other fish. <laughs> Check that out. How's that, guys? Stonker of a 90 mile snapper. Beautiful fish, beautiful condition. Steve is keen to um, keep him. Smoke it up. Into the smoker. Got a mate up here that can smoke it, and Steve's keen to um, take one to his work. It's a nice fish, very nice fish. Snapper off the beach. How's that, guys? What a nice fish. I love catching those fish off the beach. Even those smaller ones, that smaller one that I got before. Got a couple of nice donkeys now. That 90 just working really wet. Once again, it's not a spot that I always fish, but I'm just using my middle eye basic knowledge. And we're here on the dead low tide, breaking right on that lip. Got a little hole down here. Can obviously fish on that high tide. And it gets shallow out here and see how the water goes right out it's breaking right on that lip and then on that outer bank it's building up breaks dies away so there's the, the little bank right in front of us we're walking to that casting out in between that outer bank and the bank there so steve is ready to uh drop his con ticky in again 20 probably. So yeah, Steve is um, gonna drop in the contiki again and then hopefully I get enough time to flick out another bait. I think that tide's coming in. So we're gonna get pushed off that bank pretty quickly. I'm gonna do a set here and then what we might do is find one of these little troughs that's sitting on the inside. On the inside of that little bank. So where we were before there was a little trough so um we'll see how we go on this we've got about four four or five nice fish in there between that 12 and that one that i just got maybe roughly that 15 16 pound so we don't really need a lot more maybe just another two or three on the uh, contiki and another couple on the surf caster that we could probably let go beauty day it's been an absolute blast it's so good to come back out on the 90 it worked really well for us last time so we decided to come up and have another shot just love it okay there you go cranking her in Second set on the 90. Had a bit of a blast on the uh, surf casters. Come on the first set. So we only need another three or four maybe on this set. Might finish off the day with another surf cast in one of these little holes. Tides coming in. A little trough set trough that we sort of fished this morning. Might get back there. Last, so I think it's probably got a couple more on the thicky. Beautiful day. There's only a couple of cars down there. No cars down there. Fish coming ashore. Second set. It's helping the night, man. You're getting busy. Two on those boats. Those two hooks that we always have on this side of the 
Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.